Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I wanted to make a video today about doing this effect on your Shopify website, on Dawn specifically. Let me just show you the live website when I hit refresh. When I scroll, the background scrolls with the web page and this looks really, really nice and you can brand with a texture. You can download any text you want. Um, you can use Canva, I guess, for textures, etc, etc. And it just gives a really nice branded kind of feel to your website. It also looks really, really high quality. Okay, not when you zoom in, but obviously you'd have to design everything else around this background. I've just given you this as an example. A transparent project uh, product on a background like this is perfect, like literally perfect for this kind of thing. Okay, so let's get into how to actually do this. Oh, this also works on mobile, just so you know. As you can see, this is mobile. Okay, so to do this, it does require a little bit of code, but it's just copy and pasting into the back end of your Thorn theme. The first thing you need to do to make this happen is go to your settings and you need to upload a image that you want to use as a background. So for example, I go to upload file. You can't see my file thing right now, but if I just double click this and upload this picture again, and then as you can see, it says, hello, this is, this is already here, but I'm uploading it, but it's going to take a while. Once it's uploaded, there we go. All you need to do is press copy link. And then you're going to go to this code and you, you can put this in a notepad or whatever you prefer, Google document. And where it says URL here, you just want to highlight it and then press control V. And you want to scroll down to the second one and highlight the entire URL again and press control V and then just press Control A to select everything and then press Control C to copy everything. And then I am going to go to my Shopify back end code editor. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to press edit code. You probably know how to do this by now. And then I'm going to type in base CSS here. So click on base CSS. I'm going to scroll down to line 269. Yours will not have this, obviously. <laughs> On line 269, press enter two times and then press control V. And then we're going to actually, I'm just going to very quickly delete that and I'm going to press save so that I can see my store. So funkypigs.store. This is it without the effect. This is just, you know, normal. Uh, sh uh, Shopify Dawn theme layout and then control V and I'm going to press save again and then I'm going to refresh and it's not going to work. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank God it worked. Okay, so I'm just going to very quickly inspect this and I'm going to have a look on mobile. As you can see, it's also working on mobile. It looks really, really nice. Uh, you can make your own uh, pattern. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I do have a video on how to do a very similar thing on, with the footer, but I think I'll make an updated video. And yeah, if you're wondering where to get patterns, I guess Canva has them. So let's have a look. Um, Canva website. Uh, uh, what's it called? Texture. Add textures to your images free. Yeah, so they, they have textures, definitely. Let's have a look what kind of textures they have. If you already have a texture, you can, uh, you can stop watching. That's the end of the tutorial, but I'm just going to very quickly see what we can find on interesting on Canva yeah I don't really want anything like this I want like a texture okay I just need to click background here ah, there we go so let's say you're a wood shop you can add something like this uh, this is a pro one you can get Canva Pro if you really want as well a lot of these are probably gonna be pro this would be a cool one as well this would be a really nice one just yeah you get the idea guys like it's just get, like let me just show you what this would look like so let's just download this and I'm just gonna follow exactly the same process so I go to files and this time upload it here uh, untitled design what a great name for something I'm just gonna pause this okay upload successful go across grab the link go to the Google document highlight the entire URL and press control V Highlight the entire URL and press Control V, press Control A, Control C, copy. Then go to online store. 
actions, edit code, exactly the same as before. Or you can just replace the URLs inside base CSS as well if uh, you kind of if you feel comfortable. You can also click here to make the code bigger. I always forget to do that, but it's really really useful. So I'm going to copy from body down to there, and then I'm going to press save again. And then let's have a look at what this looks like. I'm actually pretty curious. I'm on mobile. Okay, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good on mobile. You can chain, you can play around with the colors where each color appears. Let's have a look on desktop. Sorry about the church bells, guys. There we go. That looks really nice on desktop. Okay, so yeah, I hope this helps some people add some branding to their Shopify store, and I'll see you really soon with some more content. Peace out.